I'm Jen Midkiff, and this is the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast. Show number 591. Welcome to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, helping you celebrate Celtic culture through music. I am Mark Gunn. I'm a musician and podcaster here in Atlanta, Georgia. This podcast is here to build our diverse Celtic community and help the incredible artists who so generously share their music with you. If you hear music you love, please email the artist to let them know you heard them on the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast. You can find a link to all the artists in the show notes, along with showtimes, when you visit our website at CelticMusicPodcast.com. And of course, I am looking for new music music and stories in 2023 to submit your band just complete the permission form at fourkelts.com that's the number four kelts.com you can also find information on how to submit a story behind one of your songs or tunes and why don't you pick up a free copy of my ebook celtic musician's guide to digital music 
Just send an email to gift at bestkelticmusic.net. Oh, and of course, this is a completely instrumental episode, as requested by one of our listeners. Hope you enjoy it. We started the show with Jen Midkiff introducing it. She kicked off last week's episode, and then we played the music of the Byrne Brothers with Savage Cabbage, McKenna's Jig, Ships Are Sailing, Ormond Sound Reels, all from their album, Living the Dream. Next up is Poison Dwarf with Colonel Robertson's from Bolt the Door.
After Poison Dwarf came Widening Gyro with McDougal's Pride from their album Real Shadows, then One Street Over from their album Beyond the Gate that was Across the Black Water. Sylvia Woods was after that with Morning Calm from the Harp of Brandisweer. And she, of course, finished that set. Now, I want your feedback. What are you doing today while listening to the podcast? You can send a written comment along with a picture of what you are doing while listening. Email a voicemail message to CelticPodcast at gmail.com. And you can also contact me or post a message over on Facebook or Mastodon. I'm over on Mastodon as well. I'm having fun posting stuff over there. <laughs> Rob emailed greetings from the snowy north. Good day, Kelt Father. I just want to thank you for the amazing musical offerings. It makes shoveling the winter snow a much more pleasant experience. And to ask for a favor, after replacing my phone, some apps did not make the transfer successfully. Since then, I have a song stuck in my head that I cannot track down, and I swear it was from an episode of the podcast. I did some digging and matched the lyrics to The Barroom Girl by Jillian Welch, but I cannot find the version that played on the podcast. Any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you again for the wonderful podcast, and thank you again for the motivational snow shoveling music. I did a quick search, Rob, and I I did not find anything that matched that title, so I'm really not sure. And I looked up the lyrics and and just just couldn't find anything, so I'm I'm terribly sorry. Um, But there are 500-plus episodes for you to (laughs) to go back and listen to, and hopefully it'll show up in one of those. (laughs) Daphne Arthur of the Homespun Kaylee. Oh, if someone out there has a recommendation or can help Rob out, Drop me an email, CelticPodcast at gmail.com, and I will try to let them know. Daphne Arthur of the Homespun Kaylee Band sent holiday greetings last month. I've been saving up all the Christmas-themed episodes of music podcasts until the actual start of Christmas tide, so I'll have them to listen to during the 12 days. So on the first day of Christmas, I was listening to 586 while waiting for my after-Christmas dinner tea to steep and making sure Guillaume didn't actually burn his tail on his teeny-tiny improvised Advent wreath. Enjoying the music as always. Merry Christmas to you and yours. Thank you so much, Daphne. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you got to enjoy the, the, the podcast over the holidays. I know there was a bunch of them and, uh, and not just our podcast, but you know, the Celtic Christmas podcast as well. So, um, I th- I'm glad you got to enjoy it. Letty and Rodolfo emailed the best time to listen to Celtic music is during breakfast. Hi, Mark. This is Letty and Rodolfo from Madrid, Spain. We always listen to your podcast while we are have our banana and oat pancake breakfast on weekends. It has become a kind of a ritual, and we really enjoy the music and the food before going out for a walk in the country. 
Keep up the good work. Thanks a million. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. <laughs> uh, first off, the picture you took uh, of the food, your pancake, banana and oats pancake breakfast was just, I was like immediately hungry. I didn't really eat much for breakfast this morning. So I'm like, oh, I want some of that. <laughs> but then then you have this, the idea of going out for a walk in the country. And that just sounds delightful out in Spain. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going to uh, do the Celtic invasion of Westport this summer in Ireland. And it's it's gotten me a, a lot into the mood of traveling already. <laughs> I'll tell you more about that in a moment. But in the meantime, we're going to get back to the music. Next up is Lilt with The Price of My Pig, The Coming of Spring, and Paddy Fahis from X. Or rather, 10. <laughs>
After Lilt came Mason Brown with Mark Miller's jig from I Am A Handsome Devil. And Mason Brown has a new album out. I need to contact him, see if I can get it on the podcast. The album is called Los Boyos. You can find a link to him in the show notes and see about picking up that copy of that album yourself. Robin Hugh Bowen was after Mason Brown. That was a track called E. Fualchen from Edith Enid. And I'm apologize for butchering the Welsh there. Then came W. Ed Harris with O'Dowd's Master Crowley's Dogs Among the Bushes from the Well Below the Valley Project. And Ed has two new albums. The first is called Family Friends, Choices and Memories, and also Cares of Tomorrow Can't Wait. Uh, you, again, go to his website to find out more. I need to contact him and see if I can get those on the podcast in the meantime. Keith Hinchcliffe finished up the set with a wee dram or Henry the Horse's Hornbite from a wee dram. Thank you so much, patrons of the podcast, because of your kind and generous support. This show comes out nearly every week. Your generosity funds the creation, promotion, and production of the show. It allows us to attract new listeners and to help our community grow. As a patron, you get music-only episodes before regular listeners. You get to vote in the Celtic Top 20, and you get a private feed to listen to the show. All that for as little as $1 per episode. And of course, it's a great way to show your support of Celtic culture through music. A special thanks to our Celtic legends, these kind and generous and amazing people. They pledge $25 per month to support this podcast, and I really could not begin how much tell you how much I appreciate it. Uh, all the, your support is, is so invaluable to keeping the show running uh, each and every week. Oh, I say that, but I do know that uh, next week I do have an off week. I need to do some catch-up, and I'm going to try to get ahead on the podcast because St. Patrick's Day is coming up, so there will not be a show, but we will have some shows uh, the rest of the month, so no worries about those. Here is your three-step plan to support the podcast. Number one, go to our Patreon page. Number two, decide how much you want to pledge each and every week, $1, $5, $10, $25. Make sure to cap how much you want to spend per month. And number three, keep listening to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast to celebrate your culture through music. You can become a generous patron of the podcast on Patreon at songhinge.com. Now, I am traveling on a Celtic Invasion vacation this summer, and every year I do take a small group of people on the relaxing adventure of a lifetime. We don't see everything. Instead, we stay in one area. We get to know the region through its culture, history, and legends. You can join us with an auditory and visual adventure through podcasts and videos on our website at celticinvasion.com. However, I have finally posted the itinerary for the Celtic Invasion of County Mayo in Ireland. We're going to explore the area, get to know Grace O'Malley, go up to Crow Patrick, uh, go to Clare Island, um, maybe the Lost Valley. There's a lot of things you'll see on the itinerary that I put together. Uh, and of course, West Point, we're going to have uh, music at uh, Matt Malloy's, music almost nightly on this Celtic Invasion. So uh, if you want to join me, head on over to CelticInvasion.com as soon as possible. Now, normally the deadline is February 1st. However, I have space still available. So I'm going to keep that open and if, uh, for as long as, it, as I possibly need to. Um, but there's like two sp- slots available currently. Uh, so if you want to join me, drop me an email as soon as possible. Send it to CelticInvasion at gmail.com or visit the website CelticInvasion.com. Um, again, you can check out the itinerary. You can complete your application and send in money to make sure you join me on the Celtic Invasion of Westport Island. It is going to be spectacular. I mean, uh, Clue Beach Her- Heritage Center, Westport House. We're going to go cruise along the wild Atlantic Way. There are some cliffs of Ashleam and Mountain Cliffs. There's uh, some breweries and distilleries that we might visit we have a ferry, a possible train ride, lots, just so much stuff that's going to happen. Standing stones, oh, and of course the sights. Oh my gosh, if you've seen some of the pictures of, of the County Mayo, you would be blown away. So drop me a line, CelticInvasion.com. Next up is West of Mabu with Lime Hill featuring Wendy McIsaac from their album The Bridge. <laughs>
after West of Mabu came Sly Otar with the boys of the town from their album Voyage. Then Kill Rush with Monahan and Dunmore Lasses from Kill Rush. Then the Scratchbox Reel by Scythian from American Shanty. All right. Well, they, thank you so much for listening to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast. I want to remind you to vote in the Celtic Top 20 for 2023. This is our way of finding the best songs and artists each year. You can vote for as many songs and tunes that inspire you in each episode, and your vote helps me create next year's best Celtic music episode of 2023. The one that just came out is just spectacular. Go, You can listen to it. It was at the end of last year. Now, two weeks after the episode is launched, I do compile your votes to update a playlist on Spotify and YouTube, and these are the results of your voting, and you can help these artists out. You can follow the playlist, add tracks you love to your playlist, and then follow us on Facebook to find out who is added each and every week. The first new artists for 2023 were added uh, last week. So there's a playlist is on Spotify, but then there's also a playlist on YouTube. In the YouTube playlist, I'm adding either official music videos or live performances, and I have some great ones that were added this week. I was very pleased that they were available because <laughs> they're not always available. Um, so I won't be adding nearly as much today unless there's uh, videos available. So stay tuned for that. Finally, remember you can get Celtic music news in your inbox. The Celtic music magazine is a quick and easy way to plug yourself into more great Celtic culture. Subscribe and get 34 Celtic MP3s for free. We're going to finish up the show with Gander by Jonathan Milton. It's from his album. Just one more. I will be back in two weeks. Talk to you soon. Slancha. <laughs>
The Irish and Celtic Music Podcast is produced by Mark Gundy, Celt Father, and our patrons on Patreon. The show is edited by Mitchell Peterson with graphics by Miranda Nelson Designs. Visit our website to subscribe to the show. You can find links to all the artists played in this episode. You'll get access to our best of the year playlist. You can subscribe to our Celtic Music Magazine and get 34 Celtic MP3s for free. Plus, you'll get seven weekly news items about what's happening with Celtic music and culture online. Best of all, you will connect with your Celtic heritage. Finally, please tell one friend about this podcast podcast word of mouth is the absolute best way to support any creative endeavor promote celtic culture through music at celticmusicpodcast.com